see. I wanted to show you guys how um, I prep my turkey drumsticks for cooking. Um, I take it and I put little slices. Um, I just take my knife, guys, and I just kind of, you know, cut it. That way it can get cooked all nice and juicy and the inside gets cooked because the turkey drumsticks are a little uh, thick. So I make sure I make little cuts and I kind of, you know, like kind of stab it with my knife a little bit. I've already done this one. I just wanted to show you guys how I do it. I just, you know, do like little slices across it, kind of pull the skin back and you guys can see I make slices in the, in the um, drumstick. So that's how I do it. And let me get my hands washed real quick here. And I base it with oil. And as you can see, I've got all my seasons here. I put all my seasons in one bowl. Um, garlic, salt, um, complete, any season that you want to use. Uh, all, all different kind of seasons I put in my uh, container. So, I've got some oil here, some extra olive oil. And I'm going to just coat my um, turkey drumstick with some oil. I've got four of them. I'm going to do all four of the drumsticks the same way. Just coat it with some oil, guys, like this. This will help with the cooking process. Alright, got that all nice and oily. And also, the oil helps your, um, your seasons. So, okay. Got it all nice and oiled. Get it all oiled in there and those little cuts that I've made. This is just how I do it. So, hands washed here. All right, and then I just take my seasons. My seasons on it. like that and just make sure I get seasons all over it on both sides make sure I get some seasons in them little those little cuts and crevices make sure everything gets nice and seasoned guys I just flip it over sprinkle some season all over it I get it in my little cuts and crevices. Yeah. And that's it. That's how I prep them, guys, for cooking. Quick and easy. Quick and easy, guys. Let me get my hands washed here. Gets a little messy. But that's how I get them ready. I oil them, I season them, so let me go ahead and um, get the rest of my uh, turkey drumsticks all seasoned up, oiled up, and then I'll be back to show you how I pan them for cooking. I cook them at 350 degrees and I cook them for about maybe 30 minutes to an hour. Just depends on the thickness of the uh, drumstick. So I think with these, I think I'll probably do about 350 degrees. Now most people cook it at about 200 degrees for an hour. No, I do it for like, uh, I do it at 350 degrees and I do it for like half an hour to an hour, almost an hour. So um, I'll be back guys. I want to show you how I pan these up for cooking. I will be back. Okay guys, I am back. Just wanted to show you how I was going to pan up the um, turkey wings, uh, well, turkey drumsticks. All right, now I have here some pre-sliced onions. Uh, make sure you guys see, yep. Now I've got some pre-sliced onions. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop some at the bottom. First, let me get my oil. I'm gonna spray some of my old faithful canola oil down at the bottom here so that my uh, turkey wings don't stick while they're cooking. Okay, 
So, let's go ahead. So I've got some uh, pre-sliced onions. I'm gonna drop some at the bottom of the pan. Okay, I'm gonna put some in both pans. I'm gonna need to use two pans because I can't fit all of the drumsticks. I can't fit them all in one pan. All right, so. Let's get that out of the way. Okay, let's get our drumsticks down. Okay, and I'm gonna put them in this way. These things are pretty big. The turkey drumsticks are pretty big. Just gonna lay them in opposite directions. Okay, let's get this one over here. of onions that I'm going to put across the top of the uh, turkey drumsticks. If I can get these open. Okay. Alright, so now before I do that, I want to spray the top of I'm gonna spray the top with oil just to help with cooking and browning. And I'm gonna get some seasons across the top. A little bit more season across the top. Like that. Make sure you guys can see. Yep. See if I can zoom you guys in a little bit more. Okay. All right. Just gonna throw some season across the top. We're gonna get them all nice and brown and roasted. Let all that good goodness soak in while they are cooking. Put some down at the bottom of our pan as well. All right, and we're gonna also put some onions across the top of them so that they can get some of that goodness from the onion. Whoa. Uh -oh. Make sure we get onions across the top there. Oh yeah. This is gonna be delicious. Nice. Get that onion across the top for that onion flavor. Mm -mm -mm. The onions smell so good. Cannot wait. Everything coated. All right, we've got all our onions on. I'm gonna throw some parsley. Y'all know I gotta put some parsley on it. If I can get my parsley open. Okay, I'm gonna throw some parsley across the top. Get them all nice and pretty. Oh yeah. Okay, let me bring you guys in so you can see. As you guys can see, I got my turkey gravy, my um, Jiffy Mix for my cornbread muffins. Bring that out a little bit. Let me show you guys how it's looking in the pan. Hold on, bring y'all out a little bit. Uh-oh. All right. Trying to make y'all dizzy. Look at that. All nice and seasoned, covered in onions. All right, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and cover it with aluminum foil. Uh, I'm gonna cook it about 30 minutes and then I'll check on it and see how much longer it needs to cook. Uh, once again, I have my stove preheated 350 degrees and they cook for about an hour, pretty much an hour. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover these up with aluminum foil guys and get them in the oven so they can start cooking. 
All right, guys, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back with my cornbread muffins. And of course, you guys know the cornbread mix that I'm using is Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix. Is there any other cornbread mix that we use? I don't think so. But anyway, uh, it's got to be Jiffy for me, guys. It's Jiffy for me. So, uh, Jiffy instructions are quick and easy. Uh, we've all seen it. I'm sure we've all used the Jiffy mix. Uh, quick and easy, one pack of the Jiffy corn mix, uh, one egg, one third cup of milk. That's pretty much it, guys. Quick and easy. So, I've got two boxes, and I'm going to make some cornbread muffins. I've already got my... Uh, cornbread muffin pan all nice and sprayed you know with oil so that your muffins don't stick so all right and I've got my little spoon I've got it all mixed up and I am ready to get my cornbread mix in here go ahead and get these panned up now I like my muffins nice and big I don't like those little wimpy muffins so I'm going to be filling these up, guys, so we can have nice, a nice size cornbread muffin. And that's, that's why I did two packs, so we can have a nice size muffins. So, I'm filling it about a little bit past the halfway. A little bit half the passway, so, I mean, a little bit half, just past the halfway mark. That way I know they're going to be nice size muffins. We love cornbread. We love cornbread, guys. Nothing like some good old-fashioned cornbread. And like I said, it's got to be Jiffy. Jiffy is all I know. Y'all better be using some Jiffy. Well, use whatever you want. I'm just playing, y'all. But anyway... It just don't get no better than Jiffy, man. I'm telling you. Jiffy is old school. So, all right, guys. You see how I'm filling them up? I'm going to go ahead and finish filling these guys. And according to the box, they say put it in there 400 degrees for 15 and 20 minutes. I put it at 400. I put it in there about 15 minutes. That's about all it takes until they're nice and golden brown, guys. I'm going to go ahead and finish filling these up, guys, and um, get them in the oven. All right, guys. Just wanted you guys to see the cornbread. Okay, guys, we are back, and as you guys can see, everything is complete for Sunday dinner. We have our turkey uh, drumsticks. We've got our uh, turkey gravy here in the middle. Uh, we've got our cornbread muffins in the back here to the right, and we have our yellow rice here to the left in the back. And, of course, you guys know I am taking you in so that you guys can see everything, taking you guys into that turkey gravy. I used the McCormick gravy, turkey gravy packet, and I also used the juice from the turkey. Uh, the juice, you know, the juice that's in the pan with the turkey. I combined that with my um, turkey packet, uh, I'm sorry, my gravy packet, and that gives you a nice turkey gravy, guys. Taking you guys in, looks amazing. Still smoking, everything's nice and hot. Let's move over here to our turkey drumsticks. They are looking delicious. Delicious, guys. They look amazing. And y'all yeah, see that little piece right there? Yeah, I kinda, that's where I had to taste it to see, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so anyway, the turkey drumsticks look amazing. Let's go over here to our yellow rice. You guys know I love that yellow Mahatma yellow rice. I love it. As soon as my camera, thank you, chooses to focus. Thank you very much. Um, yes, yellow rice looks amazing. Let me take you guys around to the muffins. Oh, yeah, the other turkey wings. They look amazing. And you see that juice that's in the pan? I took some of that and um, added it to my turkey gravy. And let's go over here to the cornbread muffins. Oh, yes, look at them. Oh, they look amazing. Ain't nothing like some cornbread muffins. Cornbread, period. They look amazing, guys. Let me take y'all into those muffins. Oh, they look so good. And I put some butter across the top. Yes, I did. 
All right, guys, this is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And you saw me do it, so you know I did it. Thank you, guys. Don't forget, knowledge is power. Bye, guys.